Yeah, g'day viewers. I thought I'd like to show you another x-ray tube that I've got here. This is a bigger one, it's out of a what we call a mobile x-ray unit that would be used in a general sort of hospital. And I'll just put together a quick demonstration rig to show you how this tube works as far as the operation of a rotating anode. As you've seen with the other ones I've got here, the smaller dental x-ray units that have a fairly low output don't have a very high heat loading on these tubes so they can get away with what they call a fixed anode which is the target which is constructed of con uh, tungsten embedded in copper for heat sinking. The larger style x-ray tubes have a moving anode which is basically it's a like an electric motor and when the anode spins it distributes the heat across the anode increasing the surface area and that way they can dissipate the heat that way and here's a, an even bigger one this is out of a in a larger x-ray room you know, sort of doing large procedures like chest x-rays and things like that and it's quite a sizable tube I'll just compare it to the as you can see next to that, that smaller dental one that I had running the other day so this is quite a monster and quite heavy and that also uses like a tungsten constructed anode and as you can see this tube eventually suffered a failure due to the uh, run capacitor had failed on it so the anode wasn't turning fast enough and every time I fire the tube it actually started to melt the target and I have actually seen one where the target has shattered due to the thermal stresses imposed upon it anyway I'll uh, run this one up won't be energising this one of course but we'll just fight the filament and, uh, and I can also get the anode to run so I'll just start with that I imagine the bearing technology would be pretty good in these as they have to operate at quite high temperature and also in a complete vacuum so use of uh, lubricating oils or greases would be out of the question
I don't know. Thank you for watching. And have a great day and we shall catch you next time.